Hi everyone, uh, my name is Sabashish. Uh, I'm going to talk about the floss tools and hardware that you can use for audio, video, and uh, image editing for uh, for uploading and comments. Uh, first is Audacity. Probably a lot of you already know about Audacity. It's a really beautiful tool. It's an open source tool. It's very simple to operate, and uh, and in Audacity you can do a lot of professional quality work. Uh, I I use it all day. Um, and this is available on uh, for all platforms. So. Uh, Linux, Windows, and um, uh, Mac OS. Uh, Panic Panic has been developed by a Wikimedian and it's a great tool for creating metadata and uploading on comments. So you can upload a batch of pictures or uh, videos or audios on, on comments. And uh, the, the Wikimedian who's developed that has been improving it every day. So that's a really great thing. Um, Mirror Video Converter, and this was suggested by uh, a Wikimedian again. Uh, this is a great tool again. Uh, if you're if you're converting your videos, uh, which are about, like really heavy, you can you can downsize them uh, and uh, and create uh, uh, you know WebM videos and and for audio as well, you can convert the audio files into OGT and and upload them. Uh, open broadcasting uh, software is uh, is a live audio visual broadcasting tool. Uh, if you're creating something like a podcast or uh, or uh, or making a live show of Wikipedians, uh, you know, having a meetup or something like that, this is a great tool. You can you can have a lot of things. You can add logos uh, into your video when you're creating, uh, say, live shows on Facebook or Twitter. You can always do a lot of things um, by using this. Jimp um, is a great tool for photo editing, uh, and uh, it's it's uh, as good as uh, as good as Photoshop. It's available again on all platforms. Uh, Inkscape is great for uh, for vector image editing. So if you're creating um, a, a vector image of, of anything for Wikipedia, this is a great tool. Uh, Blender is one of the greatest tools uh, available on the internet. It's a great open source tool for animation and video editing. A lot of professional quality videos have been created, animations have been created using Blender. Uh, it's again available in all platforms. Uh, Hydrogen is a great tool for uh, making uh, drum beats so if you're creating something like a video and you need some free uh, free uh, you know uh, sound for that this is a great tool for that it's very simple as well uh, for the hardware um, so if you're recording audio and video uh, you should uh, you know think of investing for uh, for something like this um, uh, uh, an audio recorder um, so this is a kind of cheaper one, it's like $100, but there are expensive ones as well. Depending on how much budget you have, you can invest on that, but, but it's very useful because this kind of records on both sides, so it's a stereo, and uh, it's a great thing for field recording, um, uh, if, you're, if you have a small uh, home studio setup, that's also great for that. And if you cannot afford that, then uh, your phones, earphones are great uh, audio, um, are, are, are great microphones. Um, and if you don't have that, then your smartphone is a great device as well. Uh, this is my home studio setup. So what I normally do is I have uh, you know my computer and my microphone and my couch, and I have these small little pillows around it, so it kind of produces a dead sound, a kind of dry sound, so I don't get a lot of uh, echoes. And this is a great thing. Uh, this is like a really cheap uh, mindfulness headphone that, that we, you definitely should have because it's also difficult at times to uh, to know uh, how your uh, live audio recording has, is going on. Uh, that uh, microphone over there is a studio quality microphone, but it's a really cheap one. It goes directly into your computer. It has a USB uh, output, so you don't have to invest on audio interface or, or mixer and things like that. Uh, and for video recording, I, I would suggest for DSLR because uh, it's a great quality. But nowadays, a lot of phones have really good quality video recording facilities, so you don't probably have to invest so much on a, uh, on a uh, DSLR. It's also bulky to carry, uh, so in events uh, like this, it's also difficult to carry a DSLR and, and do. So I have my small uh, you know, uh, smartphone in a small tripod, and that's doing a live uh, Twitter uh, show right now. Um, yeah, that's it. Any questions? technical one, um, the cell phones, some of them with the headphone jacks, you're suggesting that if they have three parts to them, mm -hmm. you plug in the headphones and that becomes a microphone? Right. Really? Yeah. Can and that's a great thing because microphone? normally your headphone would kind of crack up the uh, voice a little bit. If you connect the microphone, the, the voice is going to be really great. I've seen ones that you plug in in the music store. You know, 
right. professional microphones, but I didn't know you could use that. Yeah, absolutely. Any more questions? Uh, this also is kind of potential for a question. I really liked your presentation, but I've forgotten all of those already. Is this going to go on comms? Yes, absolutely. I'm going to upload the, the PDF on comms. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. All right, thanks so much. Thank you. No, no, I'm not going up. I just had a question. Oh, go, go, go. <laughs> open, open broadcast uh, studio. I use it, but only on YouTube. How do you use it on uh, Wikimedia? Uh, well, as I said, if you're posting uh, kind of a something like a uh, workshop or uh, meetup, and you want, uh, you want the other community members to watch it live, you can do that, you can use it. That's great software. Yeah, it is. A lot of gamers use that. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you.